A recent study shows Tasmanian aboriginals witnessed the Lachamp geomagnetic excursion. That was over 40,000 years ago. And here's the paper. First humans in Tasmania must have seen spectacular auroras. The Lachamp excursion occurred in Australia and around the world. And it was seen by the first humans. According to a paper coming out just 48 hours ago. A small subalpine lake in western Tasmania has helped establish that a 41,000 years ago, Australia experienced the Lachamp geomagnetic excursion and that Tasmanian or aboriginals would have seen it. Over a year ago, a tree was found that actually spanned this time frame and it was confirmed. Now, drilling a 270,000 year old core from Tasmanian Lake has provided the first Australian record of a major global event where the Earth's magnetic field switched. Now, we've been tracking this wholeheartedly, and we're on the cutting edge of the science at the channel. There are known magnetic excursions going back at least 100,000 years at a periodicity of about 12,000 years. The the current one we're living, which I'm calling the global warming excursion, 12,000 years ago was the Gothenburg excursion during the Younger Dryas event, and 23,000 years ago was the Lake Mungo. 35,000 years ago was the Mono Lake event, and then at 45,000 years ago, the Lachamp event, which we're talking about now. It could be as early as 41,000 years. That's how bad the dating is. But more importantly, this was the time frame when Neanderthals went extinct. And the reason is because it all falls on the cosmic clock, the cosmic clock of destruction. And you can look up here, this is the Younger Dryas flexure point where 12,900 years ago was the onset of the Younger Dryas event. That's that dot. The dot before it is a Heinrich event, number four, 39,000 years ago. And the event before that, another Heinrich event, 65,000 years and so on. We're living on the 12,500 year flexure point in the future called the current magnetic excursion, the modern global warming excursion. Now, prior to that was the onset of the late Wisconsinian glaciation 26,000 years ago, the, one of the largest glacial periods on Earth. So these are ice ages that are cosmic catastrophe cycles set off by the waning magnetosphere. And now what happens during waning magnetosphere events? Well, parat instabilities, plasma columns, Z pinches, and the axis mundi. And I'll leave you this paper to get yourself up to speed with what those things are. But let, let me just tell you that when we see aurora up in the upper latitudes in the Arctic, what we're actually seeing is plasma discharge in the form of charged particles entering the Earth. As the magnetic field wanes during these excursions, they become more profound and more shaped due to more energy. And the native cultures worldwide have been carving these on rock, well, for millennia. In fact, 40,000 years. And we're going to be looking at some of the 40,000-year-old rock art that is depicted by the first humans in Tasmania and Australia that saw these spectacular auroras. Now take a look at this depiction and take a look at this one in an Australian cave. They're the same figure and it's not actually depicting a human. It's depicting here the figure to the right is a plasma column as it would be seen from the upper latitudes in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. So around 40, 50 degrees latitude. These are the petroglyphs in Washington state in the United States that could be 40,000 years old. Here's the petroglyphs in Australia depicting the same exact events. The same exact events depicted by different groups of people seeing the same exact thing in the same exact sky worldwide. Now, what were they seeing? Well, they were seeing the axis mundi. They were seeing some type of a Z pinch and the subsequent effects. This is an experiment done by Anthony Peratt. This is the theoretical uh, primer fields by David LaPointe. And they come together in what's called the Z pinch. In the center of the Z pinch is the toroid, which gives you these eyeballs. There's the toroid and the Z pinch. 
And then you get the stick man stone or other figures as this plasma feature grows and changes depending on where you are. This is the same figure. In one area, they saw two circles. In another area, they saw three circles. Some areas, they saw the same line and the same dot. There it is, same circles and the same dot. Two different cultures at the same time, different caves. Take a look at these different caves. They saw little dots here. Here they saw Q-tips, but the same nose. It's astonishing how similar these patterns are. Hundreds, if not thousands of miles away from the same effects, from the same plasma discharge. Yes, this is the plasma discharge column. These are the fingers. These are the glyphs that all match up worldwide around 40,000 years ago. This was all being seen in the night sky. Now, the Lashamp could potentially be what the Thunderbolts project describes as the Saturn myth or the breakup of that unit. Now, what actually occurred? Does this have to do with the Medusa myth? Does this have to do with the chariots in the sky, the thunderbolts in the sky? I think so. And this would bring us back to the Lachamp magnetic excursion, not the most recent Younger Dryas, which I believe the thunderbolts can't believe that that's the time frame. It is our supposition that the breakup of that ancient system that we were a part of, the brown dwarf system, the Saturnian system, was 42,000 years ago during this event that was recorded in the rock record worldwide by cultures that had limited communication, but all recorded the same things on the rocks. Gleaming the future from distant ages through plasma discharge experiments. Here's that column, those heads we were looking at with the toroids. We see stickman stone and other versions of that plasma parat instability. We also see circular dots like this one here, the supernova 1987A. These could all be explanations to what we see in the rock. But plasma discharge to the left, rock art to the right. It's very clear that what the ancients saw is something that we're not being taught in schools and is being hidden from you because there is a plethora of information about this currently worldwide in caves everywhere. Yet people refuse to look at it and study it as, a, as being important when it's in fact the most important thing we could know on the planet. What happened in the past? What are these symbols and why did they become the first language the Phoenicians used, the Hebrews used? And why do all the people look like stick man stone? We weren't poor drawlers. We were excellent scientists. And these are actual accounts of things happening in the night sky. If you don't believe me, marinate on it for a minute. And we'll be doing more videos that will, well, open your eyes to the surprise. History is not a mystery. Ancient cultures for 40,000 years have been warning us about what happens on our planet on a regular periodicity. And that is the cosmic clock right here. Like clockwork, we go through a cosmic cycle that's been happening time immemorial. My work as a geologist and a stratigrapher has led me to these conclusions. These events have been happening for hundreds of millions of years like clockwork. It doesn't matter what planet, what solar system you're in, you get hit by the same cosmic wave on the same clock cycle time and time again. And humanity has been warning us about this for eons and we're just getting up to speed. What's written on the rock is not graffiti, it's a warning. Not necessarily they were warning us. They were telling us exactly what was happening. So think of it as a warning. Hope you got something out of the video. Ancient cultures were far more advanced than we are led to believe. And they had a very effective way of leaving information that we could use right now. Proper prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. 
in the ongoing magnetic excursion you're living. Be safe. We love you. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And click on one of the boxes to gain more knowledge. Be safe. And that's a boom to knowledge. Nee, 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 nee.